Good morning, all. I wanted to talk about psychic ability, fact or fiction. Last night I was watching that wonderful show, Hollywood Medium, that young boy, Tyler Henry. And I looked up to see his birthday, because I'm interested. I'm very interested in spirituality and um, psychic phenomenon and all that wonderful stuff, which is why I do this for a living. So as I'm reading about him, it was stated that he's the new grief vampire, meaning that what he's doing is with the intention to trick and fool these people, like doing cold readings. So um, he looks fabulous. I'm very offended by all of this. I've been a psychic my whole life, and I truly do not like the word psychic. It kind of skeeves me because it makes me think of a carnival act um, trickery. And there's nothing about me that is tricky. Not at all. I don't know how to play. I don't have to play. But on the other end of it, yeah, of course there are some people that scam people, but they'll get their karma. That's not your business. But to be honestly truthful, being a, I've been doing this professionally my whole life. I honestly don't know. I can't explain how I'm getting the information. I really can't do it. And I'm sure there's days that I'm wonderful and there's days that I'm not so wonderful. And I believe it's because I'm just picking up on the energy of the other person. I can't explain it. There's no way I could explain it. And honestly, I don't know if I'm really being good and psychic. I don't know what's happening. I'm just delivering what I feel. So with that, I remember I did a reading party years ago. And I read this woman. She was the last person at the party. And everything I said to her, she was like, nope, nope, no, no, sorry. And I felt so terrible. Because you want to give good service to everyone. This is what it's about. Especially when you're an empath and you feel everything. So she said everything was no, no, no. And I apologized prof profusely to her. I said, I'm so sorry. I must be tired. It was the last reading of the day. I read a lot, a lot, a lot of people that day. So I leave and I see her again as I'm leaving. And again, I apologize. I'm so sorry. Papa. Well, are you ready for this? I get a phone call a few days later. And this um, young woman calls me up and she said, hi, you read a friend of mine at a party over the weekend and I'd like to come for a reading. I said, certainly. She lives in Queens I'm on Long Island, Long Island. So I'm like, come on out. So we booked this session. She comes out, we're sitting down, we're doing what we do. And then she says to me, remember the woman that you read at the party? That everything you said to her, she said, nope, nope, nope. I said, I certainly do. She said, well, that was my mother. And everything that you said was right, you freaked her out. I said, that is so mean. How mean is that? Because I have no proof of anything. She said, so never doubt yourself. So it just blew my mind because I truly don't know. I know that I am never a BS. I never tell stories. I don't make anything up. I'm not born that way. It's not that important to me. Being a psychic and being labeled as that, it kind of makes you, you know, a bit of a woo-woo, you know? And I, I'm definitely out there, honey. I'm grounded, but I'm out there. But there's nothing about me that is trying to make a buck off of you. God is my supply. And that I will say to the end, I don't even have to sell you. I'm just telling you. I did another session for this woman in my store. And she said to me out of the blue, can you tell me anything about my nephew? And I just sat there a minute, just receiving whatever. And I said, oh, Daniel? And she said, yes. And I got up. I walked across the room. I said, oh, my God, and came back and sat down. I'm as surprised as anybody else when it happens. So being psychic, I believe that we all have it. There was a thing I was reading about last night. Because I like to, I'm an info person. I'm all about getting the info. So I was reading last night that there's, Scientific, scientists have found out there's this phenomenon called um, anesthophobia, asina, something like that. And where it proves that there are people that are psychics who see auras, who 
um, feel this. And they either had, um, they're either born with that or they had like a head trauma. Like Michael the Angel, the movie with John Travolta, struck by lightning and then, you know, he's, yes, grasshopper. But whatever it is, I've been interested in doing this since I'm a little girl. And I say kudos to the people, like even Teresa Caputo, everybody, oh, my fake reading, my this, that. That would really harm my feelings for people to think of me as doing anything fake for a buck or notoriety. I don't need to be a famous person. I like to sit home. But kudos to them who are risking being judged and talked about like this and are still performing their art. There are real psychics, there are fake psychics. There's real friends, there's fake friends. There's real and fake, there's real Chanel sunglasses and fake Chanel sunglasses. There's real and fake everything in life. But you need to go where you feel that it's comfortable for you. So are psychics real? I hope so, I could pinch myself right here. I'm kind of dense, I feel me, yes, I'm real. And are we always right 100%? Absolutely not. Because how I feel, and I really can't explain how I do this, I truly cannot. But I feel information is just there. It's just all of a sudden there. Who's Joseph? Oh my God, da da da. And sometimes who's Millie? I don't know. But it'll stick in my head like Millie, Millie. And maybe it doesn't pertain to you, but maybe, because if it stays in my head, I can't let it go. Maybe later you'll call, oh my God, that's my grandmother. You know, whatever. It's not to prove that I'm so wonderful. It is to help you get aligned and on your path. But I've had major magical stuff happen to me in life, like really magical. And this, since I'm probably seven years old, has, has been everything I'm interested in. That's my first memory of being interested in this. So it could have been earlier, doing little seances and... My favorite book as a little girl, The Ghost Next Door. When I was seven, I read that. And so this is my interest, and I truly believe in psychic power. And I also believe there's people that try to use that to give themselves um, a sense of power or a false ego boost. I don't use it. I don't even tell people, are you psychic? I'm like, yeah, I have a store. Like, I always poo-poo past it because I don't like... I can't explain it. I don't like being labeled as that. I'm a spiritualist. That I'm comfortable with because I'm very about understanding me and God. And the more I understand me and the more I understand God, the more I understand you. And then I'm living beautifully and I'm a happy person and all my relationships are stunning and loving and connected. And that's what I'm about. Not peace at any cost. Peace with understanding. So... There are millions of psychics and people that go to classes to improve their psychic powers. And that's fine. That's fine, fine, fine. But I'm telling you right here, for me, I'm a, I'm a spiritualist, honey. I am lazy in the aspect that if this isn't a natural gift that I have, then it is not my gift. My father was a Juilliard-trained pianist. Stunning. I have a gorgeous piano. Hello. I tried, I played, I, you know, I'm very into music. I could play a few songs, but it's not my natural gift. So, so I dust the piano. <laughs> I have a roomy book on it. It's gorgeous in the corner. So find your gifts that are natural. And of course, enhancing your ability to communicate is very important for your own soul's growth, to understand magic, within yourself, within life, because this whole life is magical. Everything is magical that is happening in your life, that you're standing on this ground, that your feet are connected, and that you woke up today, and that the moon and the sun and everything's happening. And I think because of my, um, yeah, I guess I have to call it a gift. I didn't, you know, I didn't ask for it, it was given to me. And I think because of my gift, it's so important for me to be alone a lot because I do a lot of readings, a lot of sessions, and I have to shake them off. Not that I'm affected by them, but I have to clear, clear my mind and spend time alone. I need to be with myself to sit outside and 
daydream, whatever I need to do. I can't explain it, but my whole life I need a lot of alone time. So like the moon. The new moon. Go hide a few days. Go away like the moon does. You have to honor and hone into your own self and your own level of understanding. But psychic power is 100% true, and it's lovely to be validated by your clients when you're doing sessions because you, that's the only way you'll know if you're really delivering the information. How else would you know, unless they're telling you the truth? But trust your gut feelings, your intuitive center, trust that, and go where you feel is right for you. And I wish you all a blessed day. Take it easy.